Well, hello and welcome to the number one show on YouTube. Just kidding. <laughs> well, we could give ourselves that title. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I think we, we're we've proven know, that. not to toot our own horn, but toot toot. Um, we are excited <laughs> that you're joining us for this episode of On the Horizon. I'm Leanne. And I'm Brittany. And today we have whoa, 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 the infamous, no, the famous Mr. Michael Simmons. <laughs> I'm a legend in my own you mind. You are, and in ours. <laughs> so, um, Michael uh, is our worship leader, which I'm sure you all know. So, you see yeah. him on platform every Sunday. He has been with Jeff since before Covenant, right? Where, I don't since know what you're talking about. Before y'all Campus. Campus, oh, right. But currently, he's married to Gretchen. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> and <laughs> has have three, three kids together, together. <laughs> which you see two of them on stage, Patrick and Max. Yes. And, and Katie, Katie is every very involved time time. in the sound booth. Yes. And, and so a great, awesome family. Yeah. Um, been with Jeff forever and a day and still like him. So that's, that speaks good. We will actually celebrate 30 years of doing ministry together this August. I was um, two. Jeff, yeah, Jeff, Michael, and myself. So We started when I was two. I could barely, yes. uh, yeah. barely reach the keyboards. It was pretty exciting. <laughs> two fingers plucking away. And along the way, though, you have been... Um, we call you a bivocational minister, right? So hmm. while Jeff and I started uh, with Covenant full-time, Michael was bivocational, so, which means he did ministry, but then he had another job on the side. And so he has done lots of things hmm. to touch and change the world. Um, the first one was, was that BSG or did you have something before that? I don't even remember. You lose track. There's never one at a time. Yeah, so. yeah there's <laughs> just one. There's multiple going there's on. There's always more what, than what one do you thing you're, uh, because you're from the, the island, you're a Jamaican, so you have 19 jobs 19 or job man. <laughs> like You'll that. have 19 jobs? You're lazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you remember that bit? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. That's good. So, well, at BSG, I don't remember what the... BSG was Barry Stephen Goldfarb's Gold. company. It was an Goldfarb. audio design okay. company, okay. and we did, uh, we did work with... Um, numerous like restaurant chains the orlando science center was one of our big clients and okay. uh, the whole deal was audio but making it sort of dynamic and make it um animated so we bring things to life you you know have chirping forests and that kind of okay. thing it's it 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 fun yeah sound that effects cool. here and there so you did fun. that you you were you were a cast member out of disney for a while that was so much fun guide. what did you do well, you that was so much fun i was a back lot tour guide wow um, and I, I that was I, I got to work with some really fun people, and uh, that was Disney's heyday, so people would save for weeks, I mean years upon years, co to come to Disney World, and they were so excited to oh, be with us. And that was fun. That I, I, I really well, we came down and took his tour once. Oh, so we were like, fun. we want to be on Michael Simmons' oh, tour. so fun. <laughs> Through the Catastrophe Canyon and all that So stuff, much fun. So, yeah. I, I, that was a job that I hated to have to leave. Yeah. Um, but it just, I mean, it, you, you couldn't afford to be there anymore. It was right. so much fun. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's what cool. What else have you done? Oh gosh, I spent you a couple years. Yeah. I started a company called MDS Team and Leadership Development. So okay. I spent a lot of time uh, on the road uh, working with companies and working with their leaders in uh, developing their teams and then mm -hmm. how to actually make their teams or get their teams to do uh, what they wanted to do, learn to like each other, trust each other, and become more effective, more efficient, mm -hmm. um, or just have good days instead of horrible days when they went to work. So it was, that, was a, that was a fun series. And that, you are so good at that because you were yeah. patient watching you do that because <laughs> when I don't know if I was... Why was I there observing you? But I was there, and I kept thinking, oh, my gosh, I would jump in and help these people because this is driving me nuts. This is taking them too long. They are so disorganized. And yeah. I was like, oh, you have the patience yeah. of Job to just to sit and, that's not working, is it? Well, let's try something else. I'm like, oh, good Lord. <laughs> the answer's right here. It's like, yeah. And if yeah, we that's told a them, set. if we told them, then they would not I remember know. it the next time yeah. we needed it. They need to get there. Right? little pain. Get there yourself. You'll know? be fine. Which, uh, Plus, yeah, I get paid by the hour, so I'm like, <laughs> I see you yeah, taking yeah. that road with the worship team sometimes. Let's just let us get there together. We'll get there. And I'm like, no! <laughs> but you got to travel to some neat places. Oh, yeah, you got to go to China. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I got China. introduced that by Craig Lee, um, oh, okay. who was one of our ministry partners way back in the day. Way and um, over the course of that time, I got to do a lot of traveling, um, which is why I don't want to do it anymore because I like my house. Um, but I got to, you know, do California a couple times, you know, DC a few times, Texas a few times. Um, a lot of, you know, two, three day trips, gone for a day, coming back home. I hate that. Hotels drive me crazy. Um, probably the big trip would be the two and a half weeks I spent in Shanghai, uh, um, which was fun. It's kind of weird when you say stuff to have to wait till the translator says what you just said. Oh, yeah. And then they look back at you, okay, next sentence. <laughs> I forget. What did I just say? That's 
it, it took a while to kind of catch a rhythm. You, you start talking, you go, where did I leave off? Okay, here yeah, we go. But yeah. um, but it was it, okay. it was fun. Yeah, so got and to do a fair amount of that. After that was. After that, I landed at Circle. Circle, okay. Um, 2008, uh, okay. the the economies crashed around the world, and so traveling was challenging anyway. Oh right. Um, so I did a lot, still did some local stuff, um, mm -hmm. but um, was able to uh, parlay a relationship that I had at Circle Christian School uh, to get back in the classroom, which is a hoot. I didn't re remember how much I enjoyed that, okay. uh, and so um, and have been back at Circle ever since. So you've been oh, in the classroom yeah. there, but now you have a new role with Circle. Well, yeah. it's not new anymore. It's old. No. <laughs> uh, it's, again, been there for a long time. Um, so along the way, I have also picked up a couple of other uh, roles. I'm director of spiritual formation, which makes me mm -hmm. uh, campus chaplain. Okay. Um, and uh, mostly for students, predominantly for students. At least I focus on students. Um, they would probably drag me to other spaces, but we do that. Uh, and then uh, director of athletics. So okay. all of our athletic programming and coordination and all the, the stuff related to that is also part of my my little realm there. Realm. <laughs> and you're teaching history class History, too, which right? is so much fun. Uh, that is, um, you know, yeah. I get to tell the American story every year, and it's funny now, I could do an autopilot, so what page are we on? Okay, so that <laughs> says. <laughs> you know, That's the um, benefit of teaching the same thing. It is fun, man. Year. I haven't looked at my lesson plans for years. <laughs> Julie, I look at it every single <laughs> yes, time. Yes. I know I'm about to teach every time, religiously. Where's well, my lesson plan? I have no idea. Well, history's <laughs> changed so much. I don't know how you're able to do that. I'm the, just kidding. I'm just kidding. The, we just keep rewriting. <laughs> the old stuff, interestingly enough, has not. Mm -hmm. Now, I do get to expand or play with the stories from the old stuff that I tell. Yes. But contrary to popular belief, we don't get to rewrite it just no? because we don't like how it went. <laughs> So, well, you've, you've had um, an opportunity to touch and change a lot of mm -hmm. the areas that we've been talking about, um, but I even think sometimes with your family, because mm -hmm. if they don't know where you hail from, I guess. Oh, you want that, you want that part of it? Oh, sure, because you have influence with your family there so as well. So, no, my family has influence. Well. My, my dad has influence. <laughs> We're just his kid. Um, so, mm -hmm. my mom um, was uh, the chief administrative officer for the office of oh gosh how does that go oh i can't remember it's how that been works a while. it's been a long time <laughs> so she was the chief administrative office for the uh, chief of staff officer for the chief of staff for the 94th congress which means she worked for uh, newt gingrich mm -hmm. uh, indirectly she worked with him uh, scott faulkner was his chief of staff and she was Scott's chief of staff, and so uh, that's mom's side of things. Um, and then my dad um, was a prime minister uh, and has been knighted a couple times yeah. and got a few honorary doctorates and that kind of thing. So he's he's a pretty he's a pretty accomplished dude. So yeah, from, we'll, has a book too, from right? little Alan called St. Kitts. He has a Saint book, yeah. yeah. And I got like a sentence, so I was pretty excited about my sentence <laughs> oh. of the whole book. Uh, my my youngest. Just a sentence. Oh yeah, we. we <laughs> I'm just there, there, you, know, you think there would be like volumes <laughs> yeah. just for me alone. No. Um, you know, but my, all of my siblings, we all got a sentence out of it, so okay. we're pretty excited about it. <laughs> At least he's fair about it. He did, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, we had kids. Okay. And that was like a prison sentence. That was a sentence. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. We, we had children. Next. So does that like on. make you royalty? Yeah. It does not I make know. me royalty. Um, it just makes Prime me. Um, kids, I'm not it lets me be just kind of a, a part of a cool story. Um, yeah. I always tell my dad, thank you for my name. Okay. Um, because it has um, it has given me something to live up and into, um, even before mm -hmm. I understood in fullness what it meant in an earthly sense, but more importantly, what it means for me, you know, Heavenly Father sense. I mean, the whole notion of getting a name from my dad okay. uh, is is central to who I am. Um, so mm. the, that I'm called child of God has a wonderful place to lock in my head because I can relate to what it is to be the kid of someone uh, mm -hmm. who accomplishes great things. So my dad is a pretty extraordinary dude. He's he's fun. 86 years old, out there playing tennis every day. You know, he's, he's, my dad's a kid. Did you get those jeans? I, no, he doesn't wear Levi's. I wear only wear Levi's. I don't see you out there playing tennis no, every day. No, no. Interesting <laughs> enough, his 86-year-old knees are better than my 50-some-odd yeah. year old. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a pretty extraordinary oh, dude. That's awesome. My stepmom's cool, and they, they're, just, they're just great. Yeah. Well, they're wow, that's awesome. So, Thanks for sharing that with us. Well, we appreciate all you do within yes, the walls, and then you have been quite busy outside of the walls as well, and so you uh, represent us well as you are our outpost for the kingdom, and so I'm... I'm honored to serve alongside you and I'm glad to know you. I'm just putting my ADD to work, man. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs>
<laughs> got serious focus issues. What do you do with so, it? <laughs> you know, if you have a job you think could fit him, uh, be perfect for him, bring it to <laughs> He's him. He's looking for more jobs. So. You know, I got 20 Gretchen. minutes next Tuesday. <laughs> <Yeah>. I'm good. <laughs> don't tell Gretchen. But, you know, Patrick will be leaving the house, so he'll have more time yes, then because one yes. less child. So, And maybe Max will be leaving too, maybe. We'll see. We'll he's, see where yeah, God takes him in his he's, he's, collegiate he's, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty exciting. They're at a pretty exciting stage in life right now. Yeah, so watching yeah. them do what they do and yeah. uh, live into what God has created them to be has been pretty fun. Um, some yeah. of it's sad. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Um, it's been a, a tremendous joy uh, to be able to look up from platform. Now I have to look behind me, but <laughs> look up from platform and see your kids uh, worshiping Jesus right. and leading people to do the same thing. And so um, we're entering a new phase. Mm-hmm. I'll be cool. <laughs> we'll pray for you. Yes, we'll get it. So pray for Michael and Gretchen mm-hmm. and yeah. the whole family as they adjust to we'll get what, we'll get there. what life Lots looks like. Lots of changes like, coming. Yeah, we'll get there. Uh, well, thanks so much for giving of your time today and sharing with uh, uh, our body. And so, if you weren't as aware of uh, all this background of Michael and some things interest you, yes. I'm sure he would love to talk to you more. If, again, if you're a coach and are looking for a place to light, <laughs> uh, chances are he could use one. Uh, I should so. I should have brought a. Yes, I know. I bet he's going to pay you later. (laughs) So so anyway, we hope you've enjoyed this uh, edition as much as we have, and we will see you next time on the horizon.